Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here at a really old cemetery in Middle Tennessee. As you can see, it's a sunny, bright day with very harsh light. So I'm shooting handheld with my trusty Hasselblad 500CM because I like the way black and white film handles harsh contrast better than digital. I'll talk about the film I'm using in a few minutes. I'll be looking for textures and interesting compositions with the crumbling old headstones. The blue tape on both sides of the camera is a cheap but effective way to seal an annoying light leak where the film back attaches to the camera. These A12 film backs are running almost $300 in good condition right now, so I'm satisfied shooting with tape on the sides, although I do have some black gaffer tape on order, so I don't have to look quite so janky in public. We look at this, what a shame. These are false crypts. There were never any bodies in these boxes. They're actually underground. But there is a skeleton of some kind of unfortunate creature in there though. pretty hot in the direct sun. I'm going to go seek some shelter under the shade of that tree over there and I'll talk about my film stock. Why would they use such sharp finials in a cemetery? Okay y'all, on this visit, I shot with Cinesteel Double X black and white film and I have loved the results. Right out of camera, it gives such gorgeous contrast and I think it handled the bright sun and harsh shadows really well. And man, is it sharp. 
It's a 250 ISO film in daylight, rated 200 in tungsten light. I use the light meter app on my phone, and I think I actually metered at 200 ISO in the daylight, but I'm still pretty happy with the exposures. I missed focus on a couple of shots, though, but that's down to my old eyes, I'm afraid. Cinestill Double X is a repackaged version of Kodak motion picture film. It's the same black and white movie film that Kodak's been making since the 1950s, I think 1959. It's called Kodak Eastman Double X 5222, and it's been used in some of the most famous black and white movies of all time, including The Lighthouse, which is fairly recent, Raging Bull, Schindler's List, Memento, Kill Bill Volume 1, Manhattan, and Young Frankenstein. My bottom line is that I really love the way this film looks. The grain is fine and the sharpness is crisp without looking clinical the way digital cameras can sometimes look. Before leaving, I walked into town to snag a shot of the vintage cinema marquee to finish up the roll. Well, I hope you enjoyed visiting this old cemetery and seeing the shots I got here today. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.